Moving on to another example, an object is moving horizontally according to the equation dt is equal to t cubed plus 20 over t plus 1 minus 20, where d of t is distance in centimeters and t is time in seconds. What is the average rate of change for the first three seconds? Okay, so the first thing is we have to figure out what's the dependent variable, what's the independent variable. And from this equation, we could tell that the distance is modeled by the time. So the distance depends on the time. So the distance is the dependent variable, time is the independent variable. Now, what is the average rate of change for the first three seconds? That means that they want the average rate of change from zero to three. As I mentioned in a video before, whenever they're asking for the first few seconds, minutes, whatever the time is, it's always from zero until that time. So we're dealing with t equaling zero and t equaling three. So the first thing to do is to figure out what are the values or what are the distances at these times. So if we plug in zero for t into the equation, this would be zero, this would be zero plus one, 20 divided by one is 20, and then minus 20 would give us zero. So d of zero is equal to zero. And then d of three, if we plug in three into the equation, we would get three cubed, which would be 27, plus 20 divided by three plus one, which is four, so 20 divided by four is five, minus 20. And this would be 27 plus 5, which is uh, 32, minus 20, which would give us 12. So the coordinates that we're dealing with are 0 and 0. And then at a time of 3, the distance is 12. So now to figure out the average rate of change, we just have to find what the slope of the line is between these points, the slope of the secant line. So average rate of change. Let's label this x1, y1, x2, y2, so be y2 minus y1, which would be 12, 3 minus 0 is 3, so this would be 4, and the dependent variable is measured in centimeters per one unit of the independent variable, which is measured in seconds. So between 0 and 3 seconds, or for the first 3 seconds, this object is moving on average at a speed of four centimeters per second. Now for part B of this question, what is the average rate of change during the fourth second? Now these types of questions, students uh, get confused a lot because when, we know that when we're finding the average rate of change is always between two points, or in this case, it has to be two times. So when they say, what is the average rate of change during the fourth second, there's no other time given. Here it's for the first three seconds, so we know it's between zero and three. Here they're saying during the fourth second, so there's only one time given. So it's almost like they're asking the rate of change at the fourth second. But that's not what they're asking. If it was at the fourth second, then they would be asking for the instantaneous rate of change, and we're going to be doing that in future videos. But during the fourth second, there's still a range of time there because it's from the beginning of the fourth second to the end of the fourth second. So the best thing to do when getting a question like this is to just draw a timeline, start it at zero, so the first second happens here between 0 and 1. The second second happens between 1 and 2. The third second happens between 2 and 3. And then the fourth second, which is what we're looking for, happens between 3 and 4. So we have to find the average rate of change between times 3 and 4. All right, so one more time, 4 seconds, 1, two, three, four. So during that fourth second, we have to find the average rate of change, and the two points that we use are the beginning of the fourth second, which would be at a time of three, and at the end of the fourth second, which would be at a time of four. So we're finding the average rate of change from t is equal to three to t is equal to four in this case. 
So d of 3, we already know what it is from this question. It's 12, so the coordinate we're working with is 3 and 12. Now d of 4, we're going to have to plug in 4 into the equation for t. So 4 cubed gives us 64 plus 20 divided by 4 plus 1. 4 plus 1 is 5, so 20 divided by 5 is 4 minus 20. So we have 68 minus 20, which gives us 48. So the coordinate we're dealing with here, at a time of 4, the object has covered a distance of 48 centimeters. So now we can do the average rate of change between these two points, find the slope. So average rate of change, if we label this x1, y1, and then x2, y2, it'd be 48 minus 12, which would be 36, over 4 minus 3, which would be 1. So the answer would be 36 centimeters per second, per one unit, and the independent variable. So during the fourth second, the average rate of change for this object is 36 centimeters per second. So be careful with these types of questions. When they're asking for the first amount of time, for the first three seconds, it's always between zero and that amount. And then when they want it during a certain time, so during the fourth second, draw a timeline, one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds happens here, so it's between three and four. Find the average rate of change between them, and you end up getting 36 centimeters per second.